Okay, so we're back on turn number three, the final, uh, well, turn here. So let's see what has happened. Um, going off the losses, would you look at that? We captured, I want to say, yeah, 200,000 some Soviet losses already. Um, so that is an, quite an astounding number in itself. But after this turn, that will be uh, much, much more, seeing as how there's still lots and lots of uh, you know miniature encirclements or not so miniature encirclements still around this area so let's see uh we'll push through these defenders hopefully with uh, better luck there we go managed to surround and uh, get rid of another force just like that that is going to be another 10,000 some people right there that's going to be another 5,000 and my oh my is this really just racking up the uh, the counts right here so there, another artillery brigade and all of that. These units can now move frontally. Um, in a in in the actual grand campaign, perhaps it's not a it's not a good idea to commit so many of these uh, infantry divisions as we have done right here. Um, but in, for the intents and purposes of this uh, let's play, I think I'm just going to use these to to really just push back all the necessary units, more or less because um, you know it, it saves time, right? So uh, with that said, let's just reduce these pockets. I won't bother moving like the. Uh, the, the the excess forces fours as I might do inside like a like a real campaign. So let's just get all of these guys to surrender. There we go. There's a few more. And let's get the rest of these guys gone. These guys are being kind of a problem here right here. There we go. Now they start surrender. My oh my, this band of uh, three units are still fighting it out. Wow. I thought it would have uh, finished right there, but no, they still want to go. Um, in that case, let's send in the 45th and... Oh, wow, there we go. Now they've surrendered. So that's another 16, very worth 16,000 very, very stubborn men right there. Let's finish off another one right there. And again, um, chances are is that in a full campaign, you probably want to, or actually you definitely want to move um, some of these forces inside the back, inside the rear here, forwards. But for our intents and purposes, it's not really worth it just for, you know, expediency Ex um, in finishing off these guys. So let's get these tanks to clear up all of these infantry units and see the uh, the results of our handiwork here shortly. Now, as per objectives, we want to go here and here. So let's get one of those drives going on. Let's get this division, sum it up, and put it on the front here, get rid of that tank division, and hopefully, no, nope, uh, could have got rid of the other one as well. So I'll push that one back, and we'll get our units to clear up all of this. And we'll get the other tank uh, to make the drive forwards. I don't know, they've actually ran out of movement points before they could get to uh, the top objective here. That is where that might be a problem. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that might be a problem, actually. Uh, probably should have committed some of these backward forces over here because now we would we would run out of uh, space one tile out, unfortunately. But nevertheless, I think the um, the sheer amount of points we get for destroying all of those enemy units um, do compensate for it. Or actually, maybe no, we have one action point left if we do this, so it still won't be enough. Hmm. All right, fair enough. Um, we can secure the other two fairly easily, though. So we'll get this tank to make a few jabs just like that. We'll get uh, Das Reich over here to sweep. And all they had to do is just sit on that objective. So that'll be that. Uh, but the nice thing here is that if we push through this area right here, we might be able to make another uh, pocket. And let's just finish up by liquidating this one right here. And now these Soviet uh, airborne battalions might be more stubborn because they have more morale than any of the other units. And we can actually check that here. We can toggle some overlay so we can check for morale. 
And it looks like they have, I want to say slightly more, it looks like it's actually around the same level as their land, uh, their ordinary rifle divisions. But as you can see, those uh, ordinary units, they do break much easier. So this is, uh, from the looks of it, the end map. The rest of the units I could move, but it would be it would be a whole lot of time for very, very little. So we'll finish it off here. We can end the turn, and that will effectively wrap up the uh, Road to Minsk scenario here. We might do another scenario. We might do the Road to Leningrad. Um, but that is uh, War in the East at a glance. Now, I'm sure there's a, there's a lot more, you know, optimization and other things that could be done inside the scenario. But that is uh, the, very, very, the very bare basics to, you know, the, the game. It's an introduction after all. And yeah, that is uh, pretty much just that. Now, let's see the... Uh, ending victory screen here for a nice tabulation of what uh, what's left here yeah sorry folks it is quite loud so going to the victory screen um checking out the uh, the final score so it was a it was, yeah, so it was a Axis major victory. Unfortunately, we weren't able to cap the uh, the last flag objective there. Um, but taking a look at uh, the losses from you know both perspectives, we lost barely anything as uh, as as you know as intended compared to what the Soviet Union lost here. And would you look at that? Uh, from from what we remember from this very start of the, of the campaign, they had right around 17, 000, or 1,700 aircraft. And it looks like they lost, yeah, a very, very large portion of that, to say the least, lots of armored vehicles. And I believe they had 3,000 some armored vehicles. So we begged almost the entire, uh, the entire group of that. We didn't necessarily capture that many artillery pieces, but almost, uh, yeah, 400 thousand troops as well so definitely uh well uh, a feat in manpower but perhaps not uh like land-based uh, you know objective flags there either way i hope you guys ensured our like the introduction to the game and i'm sure that uh there's you know bits and aspects where we could go uh on on to for uh for a more in-depth kind of thing but i think i'll leave that for now and i encourage you guys to check out the uh, the matrix games forums if you've found this a uh, a very well fascinating game to say the least bye, -bye for now.